Hey folks, happy Wednesday to you. I am about to go do something that I absolutely love. It's something I mastered in college. It is something that refreshes me and recharges me. It is something some folks watching can only do on a Saturday or a Sunday. If you work from home, you may be able to squeeze one in on a Tuesday or a Thursday. Maybe I'm giving a lot of good hints, but I'm talking about a nap, the power of a cat nap. If I can squeeze in 25 minutes just to lay down, shut my eyes, and I wear contacts, so I legitimately like take out the contacts and really lay down for 25 minutes and just recharge, give my brain that extra little juice it needs, let my body just have that little moment to lay and, and rest. Um, it is, it's a game changer for me. I coach a Monday night and Wednesday night class, so if I can particularly squeeze one in before one of those rides, I am just ready to rock. So I say all this to say, um, the power of cat naps are still very relevant, whether you're an undergrad student or not, but also really the importance of being in tune with your body. There are some people that know, no way in heck could a 30 minute cat nap do anything for them. They're just gonna wake up upset. So if that's you, then duh, that ain't gonna work. But if you're willing to try something just to see how your body could respond to that, um, even if you try it like on a Saturday or Sunday, I would say go for it because it is, A, it's something to look forward to. Ooh, when I know nap time is coming, I am extra excited. But B, it does do something, um, you know, it stimulates your brain. It can actually recharge it. And it's just, it's a wonderful uh, mental and physical thing to do for yourself. So if you haven't taken a nap or if you're not making time for them and you can make time for them, give it a try. Have a great day, y'all.